So behind me is another one of those angry uh, Jeeps. A manual electric car? Okay. Okay. The camera always has to stay on me. What's up, Jeep fam? Carter here from Forge 4x4. I'm at the world famous SEMA show in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm about to show you some of our favorite Jeep Wrangler builds from the show. This year was just like any other where every single one was a step above the rest. You're gonna enjoy this video, so stay tuned as we go through our favorite Wranglers. We need to have a talk with Deutsch Off-Road because I'm all about speakers and having a lot of them, but this build at Bolt Lock is insane. They have the D518 speakers in the back, plus these wakeboard speakers. <laughs> I don't know, I guess. I guess that's the thing. This is a really clean build with the Oracle flush mount lights. You got the M? I don't know what bumper that is. Deutsch Off-Road, what bumper is that? It's pretty sick, but I have no idea. Um, we got some big old KMC wheels on there, the Falcon shocks with the TerraFlex lift, the Rockside steps, high lift jack, and the rigid lights from head to toe. Uh, the little details on this one are cool from the orange grill inserts and the orange bolt, bolt lock super hooks. This thing is intense. So behind me is another one of those angry uh, Jeeps with big deep dish chrome tires. I'm not really a big fan, so I'm not gonna talk about it. You guys can just look for yourself. All right, in the Truck Hero booth, we got this 392 Wrangler Rubicon with a 2.5 inch super lift. Plus it looks like 30 si 37 inch General Gravity tires with some monster 22 inch wheels. The Infab trail slider steps, I like that it paint matches that gold motif of the 392. You have the Oracle lights, I like this light right here on the Wrangler, and this is really rad. The Rugged Ridge Sherpa rack is paint match, really clean, super secure. Overall, there's some really cool things coming out of Truck Hero, this is rad. I wrote the Air Design booth with an interesting uh, fender right here. This is the Air Design fender, almost looks like a little wing, and just so you know what to look at, there's that. Uh, you got Mamba wheels on there with some cool brake calipers and then a Rancho lift kit, the Aries steps, uh, and then in the back, those fenders keep on going. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not totally against it. It looks kind of cool. The Warren Elite Series bumper and the full spare on the back, which looks like it is, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but heavy duty so if you're still watching this uh, we have a 392 that we're putting a supercharger on it's unlike anything I've ever driven in stock form from a Wrangler perspective uh, so I'm a big fan of what the Rubicon is doing with the 392 more power get up and down those dunes and trails and just have some fun that's what driving these cars is all about it's definitely a theme going on with Mopar a lot of electric vehicles obviously that's happening all over the place we'll see how long that will last but the rubicon 4xe i love the gunny the little gun metal uh the matte army green color those wheels are sick uh, they almost look like 1552 wheels that they modify yeah they they are yeah 1552 you got the fox performance shocks uh the interior is all decked out with some desert camo matching uh best top top on here and then yeah continuing it around that's that's just be cool to drive i'm at the more ride booth with a jo build here this is their new camp kitchen this thing is rad you got a ton of table spot table space plus they have an option for a collapsible kitchen put your little stove in there and when you're all done you simply fold over push this in Take that out, collapse it in, and you're good to go. You got some onboard water, Dometic fridge, everything that you need for camping in the great outdoors, and just throw this away. Just, just throw that off to the side and you're good. Now that thing's, that's sweet. Love how it's all compact. More ride. I read the Bodyguard Bumpers booth with a pretty epic Wrangler build. Uh, I really like this paint match front bumper. You could take this bull bar off, but it has an integrated rigid light right there. Worn winch. You could 
literally just come over and see that Dana 60 and give it a kiss with those 40 inch tires. I'm six foot two and this thing is flexed pretty much to four and a half feet. That is pretty epic. On the side here, I really like these paint match fenders, really clean. I don't know if anyone would ever actually rock crawl with this thing because it's so pretty, but they did a really good job on this build. Plus this light bar uh, mount, a pillar, uh, a pillar mount is really cool. And there's all sorts of little details on here, but overall it's just a really complete build. Oracle lights in the back, sweet. Oh, and this is nice little detail. American force. Behind me is a 392. I love the color. Plus you have the fender delete, keeping that little light going on. Arb front bumper, massive beadlock wheels with, oh, this is really cool. This is the Arb quick air down. You just turn that and it could go up or down and you plug it in. Plus the fenders are really cool. You got the quick adjust shocks by Falcon. And then the interior is all uh, deleted. You got a rear seat delete, molly panels all around. This thing was really built for great storage. Check out the storage solutions on the back of the spare tire carrier. Uh, the spare tire is mounted on the bumper for additional store for additional support. So you have a ton of weight so you can put things like firewood on it. But in the back, we have a fully integrated and organized kitchen setup, even with a Red Arc battery system. I love how organized that is, especially in a 392. It's pretty much a dream Jeep Wrangler, in my opinion. All right, there's a lot of Jeeps in the Mopar booth, obviously. So we're just gonna run through each of them. This one is a 4XE sitting on 35 inch tires, 37 inch tires, uh, the Rubicon Hybrid plug-in. This thing is pretty cool. It's a birdcage concept. Love the leather seats on it. Really like that color, actually. And we're in the Mopar booth. This is pretty cool. Magneto 2.0 all electric Jeep Wrangler two door that is really stylish. We got the King Reservoir shocks on there, all electric. I have not seen anything like this before. I like the paint job and it's a manual. Is that real? A manual electric car? Okay, okay. Monster 40 inch tires with 20 inch wheels. Looks like we got some locking axles on there. The Dynatrack one ton at rear axle. Okay, okay. Also in the Mopar booth is this concept car, a Jeep CJ all electric with 35 inch tires. The engine compartment is crazy. The 400 volt engine, the battery pack in the back. This is a really interesting concept car. I'd be fascinated to know if they built this from scratch or if they actually took a CJ and modified it. Resto mod? I'm at the XG Cargo booth with a really awesome storage solution for you Jeep owners. Uh, I love how this mounts on that roll bar here. This is normally just dead space. You normally pile things up or just tuck it in, keep everything organized and check out this rail system with a simple pull and go straight up. So much better than Molly panels, really easy to take on and take off and put back on. And you now have all this space that you could have all your little gear and accessories and kitchen and first aid is all right there. Really awesome. XG Cargo. Check it out. I'm in the rival booth with a pretty sweet JL. Great little stubby bumper on here. I like the integrated lights and that winch. Super awesome matte blue wrap with the road armor fenders, Falcon shocks, Terraflex Terra Alpine IR lift. These side steps are pretty cool and I think you might be able to take those off too. So you could just have the rock sliders. The rack is really clean. You got a nice little awning right there plus the Terraflex wheels really complete build i like some arrivals products got some hooks in the back that you could take on or off and the spare tire delete is clean really well done nice build i'm in the james Broad booth with a jeep wrangler 392 with an arb front bumper plus you have some monster patagonia i think those are the 38 inch tires with the terraflex wheels the falcon setup with alpine lift but this rooftop tent is 
one of the best in the industry for pop-up tents. You got the KC Highlight bar right there and overall really clean build. This is Marco's Overland X uh, Wrangler and he has done a really good job with this. You've probably seen it all over the place. Sweet build, awesome tent. In the rival booth, we also have another JL here with some uh, not real beadlock tires. It might be real KMCs. Uh, we have these rock slide sliders with the road armor fenders are pretty sweet. I really like these pod light mounts right here. Not a huge fan of the light bar on the front, but uh, it's a really cool rack with a light bar integrated in it that you could still have your freedom panels and take those off. Uh, you got some monster Discovery SDT Pros. These look like 40s and the Falcon system. This Jeep, I bet you, is a ton of fun to drive. All right, I'm at the Rhino Rack booth with another Deutsch Off-Road JL build. This thing is ridiculous. Love the gold, <laughs> the gold uh, springs right here with the Falcon quick adjust shots. Shocks, this one was really well put together with rigid lights up front and then the sweet stubby bumper, all color matching to the back. You got the rack system with some ski mounts, you put snowboards in there. We love Rhino Rack, always have the spare tire delete and the Oracle flush mount. The other Wrangler over here, Seven Overland, go check them out on Instagram. Uh, we have the full King adjustable coilover suspension plus the DV8 front and rear bumper, just super clean build. But in the back, they got a little prototype here that's pretty rad. Full awning and then this little storage solution. You have a rack that you can mount anything on. This is could also potentially work for the Bronco with just a different mounting bracket, but this whole thing slides out. So you could have a table, you could have all your storage, you could, don't have to reach all the way in the back. You have it right here, really easy access, nice cool prototype. Run a rack. I'm at the My Top booth with a really cool solution for you soft top Jeep lovers up there. Uh, with a press of a button, that convertible top comes up. No more having to lean over and grab it. Uh, how many different colors does it come in? Seven. Seven different colors. And you could even paint match it to all the other paint matching going on on this Jeep. That's pretty cool. My Top. All right, we got another JL here, Baja Legend MTZ tires. I really like the DVA inner fenders. Uh, built by Gear Off-Road, Metal Cloak is also involved with it. We love those guys over there. Uh, this is, you know, a very unique build, but there's some cool things about it. If you want to jump up on the side, little side steps, those are pretty sweet. All right, I got this Torx Jeep Wrangler behind me. Decent wrap, looks cool, nice TerraFlex wheels, but what's really cool are these side steps. These things are heavy duty and they come up like that and then you are fully protected, drop down, really innovative design, pretty cool. All right, we got Lucky 7 Off-Roads Jeep Wrangler here. I like the fenders. The shock system is insane. TerraFlex Alpine Lift, Mickey Thompson, 38 inch tires. Look at those meats on there. I normally only, I've only seen those on the 43s with that kind of tread pattern, but now they have it with the 38s. Uh, this thing is a monster. Definitely has some cool things on it, but the tires are nuts. All right, check out this new product by Yakima. It's a kitchen in a box, the Yakima Open Range. This comes down, you have your stove, sink, all of that fits in put it in the back of your truck plus these legs pop out you can literally have a full kitchen setup anywhere that you go i could see this working great for overlanders little storage unit put some utensils in there cutting board put all your pots and pans uh this thing is really rad and look how it just all folds up into a little box like that uh what's really cool too not necessarily for full on overlanders and big time off-roaders, but if you just wanna have a camping setup and need some extra storage, they got this whole Yakima system that slides out and you could put the kitchen right on top here. So you fold that out and you got a kitchen no matter where you go. Solid job, we know, you know we love their road showers, their racks, uh, but this product I think is game changing. That's pretty cool. That is a wrap on SEMA. I hope you enjoyed those awesome rigs. If you didn't know, we're giving away a 2022 Ford Bronco Wild Track featured in the Cooper Tire booth at SEMA. So if you want to win it, just go to forge4x4.com and consider subscribing if you like this video. And if you didn't, 
I don't know what to tell you. Go drink a beer. Relax a little bit. Having a good time. Having fun. Everyone's having fun. Why are you still watching? Why, where are you going? The camera always has to stay on me.